y'all, it's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks. Today for lunch, I've got some pork chops that I really need to do something with. So I've got a skillet preheated, I've got some cell rising flour, and I'm gonna use some olive oil in the skillet, but first I'm gonna season these chops. And so uh, I'm gonna put these right here and lay them out. Now this is pork, it is really sticky right now. I do not like to rinse my pork. I know a lot of y'all uh, gross out by that, but I like for it to be sticky like this because the flour and the seasonings really cling on to it good. Um, and you can look at it and make sure there's no, sh you know, shard pieces of bone or anything because some butchers do, um, are messy with their cuts and they might leave a piece of bone on it. But as long as you look at it and you don't see anything like that, these look really good to me. Um, so we're just gonna fry them up. I'm gonna rinse my hands off because I just touched them um, over here in some hot water. And then we're going to season these and get them in the pot to fry. We're also gonna warm up some pintos. Chris is outside painting and I've been helping him just a little. That's good and hot. Um, so today what I want on these is I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna put some uh, roasted garlic powder today. And this is Badea roasted garlic powder. And now I am going to use some smoked paprika to give them a smoky taste and flavor. Chris just walked in, he's ready to take his break. He's been out there working all morning. But it won't take but a minute to, um, and I'm putting a good bit on these because I want them to taste smoky. Now we're gonna salt and pepper them and that's all we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna grab the pep, I'm gonna grab the salt first so I don't get pepper in my salt. So we're gonna salt them good. Mama always season both sides of her meat. I hardly ever do, and that way I don't have to touch it again. I just double, kind of double season it. On one side, it's good. There's no reason why you have to flip it over and do both sides as long as you got the seasoning on there. So there, there it is. Now, since I didn't rinse that off, it's clung to it really good like it should be, and it's going to um, be a lot easier to bread and get over here to fry. So we're gonna swap places. We're gonna go ahead and um, put some oil in here. I'm probably gonna need a good bit of oil. I don't, I don't have a whole lot of oil in here in the kitchen. All I got is this olive oil. We'll put it in here, a good bit of it. It's better to use olive oil anyway because it has a lower, I mean a higher smoke point. And that way we won't uh, smoke at the kitchen too much because it's hard for me to use my fan when you guys are on here. All right, this is just self-rising flour. That's all it is. And so that's all I'm gonna do is dredge them in some self-rising flour and get them in here to fry. And I'll, I'll move y'all so y'all can see better in just a second. Now that y'all see what I'm doing and you've seen it up close, I'll let y'all watch the skillet for me. Let me move you guys over here. So I need to hurry because I only I only uh, fry these about three minutes aside because they're thin. Now if you got thick pork chops, you need to fry them a lot longer. Um, a really thick pork chop, maybe five minutes aside. If it's really, really big, you really ought to use a thermometer because it's hard to really know. Um, I need a fork. I don't know if I can get them all in here. I'll try. That's why I got out this big pot so I could try to get them all in here at one time. Mm, that smells good. That smoked paprika smells really good. Alright. So, I'm going to 
turn this up to about six or seven. I still don't have my new gas oven yet. So I'll do this to you. Let me show y'all what we got going right here. Um, this is a skillet that had some, I believe, I don't really even know what was in this skillet. I guess I better pick it up and look. I thought it was a bacon skillet, but the kids cooked yesterday. But I really don't know what was in here. I know it's some grease. They fried something in here. It's got a little grease in the bottom. I want to take a little bit more of this bacon grease right here and pour in here with it. It's hot. We're about to just warm up some pinto beans in this skillet, so I'll let them do. And that eye is on five, so it's not like I've got it turned up to high. So we're going to take my pintos that I made this week. And warm them up for lunch. That's all we're doing with that. Y'all can't see very good, can you? Now, that's better. Okay, I didn't time my chops, so let's go ahead and flip, start flipping them. Once it's been in there, but see when the blood starts coming to the top, that's when I know it's time to flip. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this one. Well, it's not brown brown, so let's give them a just a minute more. So, we're going to put um, at 1249. I know I can flip some of them. And that'll be that. So, this is a real quick and easy lunch. That's what I'm making today. The pintos I actually made in the, here, let me just turn it around this way. <laughs> the pintos I actually made in the instant pot, and I just put it on Walter grain, um, and I made them a couple of days ago. So all I did is cook them and get them ready and put them in the refrigerator. So they were already prepared from the weekend, okay? So just thought I'd throw that in there. Now we're going to, that we're going to flip these chops around. Now I've got this up on six or seven. That's usually what I like to fry stuff on. On this, on this electric stove. I haven't gotten a call from my, the company I'm getting my appliances from. I'm hoping they'll call me anytime and let me know when they're coming. But those look good, don't they? So I'm going to go ahead and set the timer um, for three minutes on that side. having a great day. These are going to taste really good with that smoked paprika on them. For those of y'all that are just coming in, we're frying up some pork chops. Um, they're just a cheaper cut. They're not, you know, like a tenderloin cut. So they're bigger. And um, they were going out of date. But of course they were still good. And um, so we put smoked paprika on them, garlic powder, and we put salt and pepper and that was it. So I'm cleaning as I'm cooking y'all and I know y'all might be a little bit bored but you need to cook live. You gotta watch it till the end. So I beat on that pepper bean thing and now they think somebody's at the door. It's 
So I don't have any uh, cornbread made or any bread made because I've been outside helping Chris. We're actually doing tours around the house today. Um, so I'll, I'll show you what we're doing right quick. Real quick, because I've got one minute left. We are painting our house so that it'll be cooler and the weather will be better. We're using white with a green trim and a darker green, green header on the trim right here. This is a little bit shade darker, light green. And then the doors are going to be the same color as we paint the foundation. This house was red. Um, let's see if I can zoom out. Yeah. So that's how it's looking. Looks good, don't it? So the door, it, the door is the same color that the actual foundation will be. So just giving y'all a sneak peek of what we're doing. We're doing it so that the house will be cooler this summer because it's so hot down here. This weather's crazy. Somebody said they're frying pork chops and simmer, simmering them in mushroom soup. That sounds really good. Um, I don't have time to do that because we're working today. And so I thought I'd just make a really quick lunch and fry these up instead of having a sandwich. So they're really ready already. Okay, we'll turn you off. So we're going to get these out and put them on a, on a tray. See what y'all think about them. I'll hold this up here so y'all can see them better. Now, I like to put my fried stuff on a lined plate with paper towels, but I don't keep it. On, I don't keep them on there real long because if you do, they'll get kind of soggy. So you want them to stay kind of crunchy. All right, if y'all want to see these up close, they look look good, don't they? So. We're just going to have us a nice pinto bean bowl and um, a pork chop. That's all we're having. <laughs> Not a whole lot, huh? So, I'll make a plate for Chris and then um, I'll sign off, sign off. This is a short video. So, we're going to get over here and make a plate. I guess I'll let y'all watch me make a plate real quick. I'm going to do the pintos. I do have a recipe for pintos in the Instant Pot if you want to make some like I do. Um, just watch the Instant Pot Pinto Beans. Just type it in Google and it'll come up if you type in CBC Instant Pot Pinto Beans. There's our plate. Our lunch plate. Cornbread would be good, slaw would be good, some sweet potatoes would be good, but we're working outside. So we're just having uh, something simple. I hope y'all enjoyed watching Color Valley Cooks where we cook like Mama did. Y'all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Yes, um, tonight chicken now or later comes on. I'm actually going to take that chicken tonight and make Chinese stir fry out of it. So y'all take a look at how I cook that at 6.30 tonight. Love ya. Bye.